What are you looking for in earnings today? Good morning. Uh, Vision Fund is definitely going to be one of the brighter spots for SoftBank's earnings this time around. Uh, as you said yourself, you know, it, they're most definitely headed for another record quarter, uh, mostly because of the, the DoorDash IPO, which itself will probably just contribute $10 billion in, in on, you know, unrealized gains. Another three billion will probably come from Uber, which soared about forty percent in the in the previous quarter. Uh, so division fund operations are, are definitely doing great. Um, another interesting point of interest is, of course, uh, SoftBank's bets on tech companies. We know they've invested a lot in Netflix, Facebook, and in the other blue chip stocks, but their options trading uh, segment of that business did not do so well. So we definitely be looking to see how it's doing. And sources have been telling us that's something they've been wrapping up, which I think a lot of investors would be happy to hear because uh, it's been quite controversial. So we're anticipating some success then from the DoorDash IPO, but can we expect more spectacular listings uh, in the coming months? It certainly looks that way. I mean, Order One, uh, a used car retailer in Germany, just went public this month. We know that Policy Bazaar in India is going public. Kupang in South Korea, which is sort of a, high, a very anticipated listing. Compass in the United States. So there's definitely a, a solid pipeline of IPOs, but probably the really the most interesting ones would be companies like Grab and Didi. Um, Ride hailing is just the biggest single segment in the original vision fund, and it's also one of the more troubled segments. Um, so Didi alone is a 10 $10 billion plus investment. So uh, seeing how those companies uh, fare in the public markets would be, uh, would be very interesting in this coming months. Solfang also doubling in blank check companies. Can we expect to hear more about this? We're certainly hoping to. Uh, I mean, so they can not just doubling. They have not one, but not two or f but four <laughs> blank check companies in, in, in the works. Uh, one has uh, already raised $525 million and is trading uh, in the United States. Another one is on, on track to raise to $100 million. This one will focus mostly on Latin American uh, investments. And just in the past few days, they've announced two more vehicles, one that will have about 100 to $150 million of committed capital and the other one 150 to $200 million. Uh, what we don't know so far is, is really what the targets will be. And, and where things get interesting is if, is if these SPACs will target SoftBank's portfolio companies. Um, you know, this is SoftBank and Masai Shison. And whenever there's an exciting new financial instrument, they tend to crank it up to 11. So this should be really interesting to watch.